you... Sure. <laughs> yeah. Just just pointing it out. Um, okay, let's talk about some more video games. Oh, sure. Are we down with that? Yeah. Sure. Are we down good. with the sickness? I love it. I love Are we the down sickness. with the sickness? Oh, my Your God. Your mother, get up. Damn I'm right. Sorry. Jonathan Holmes. Yes. Jonathan Holmes. Now, uh-huh. I'm sure you'll agree. Because um, we've been talking about love a lot on this episode. We have? I think so. It's been a bit of a romantic Love episode. And marriage. Oh, marriage. Marriage. Yeah, let's have sex. <laughs> no pig. Um, we talk about. <laughs> that was, that was very good. That's good. I like that. Um, now I think you'll agree, as someone who has found true love in life, Jonathan, uh-huh. um, that your soulmate, when you find the one, the soulmate, you. You almost get a sixth sense about what they're thinking and what they're hoping for and, and what they dream of. Yeah. And Jonathan, as your soulmate, I get a sense of what you hope and long and dream of. Do you? Well... Which is why I agree with you that, yes, we should open our own zoo. <laughs> now, now you're talking about that? I thought you said you wanted to talk about video games. Now. But we are. Now, you know that film? Um, I, it was out recently. I think it's, it came out on Blu-ray recently. I think it's called like Honey, Honey. I blew up the zoo. Right, with Matt Damon. It's and, Matt yeah. Damon, yeah, yeah. Honey, I blew up the zoo, um, in which Matt Damon buys a zoo and presumably blows it up. Uh, I've not seen it. I saw the mawkish, cloying trailer. I heard it was good, but I thought because I saw the trailer, I thought that that looks like fun. Okay. Now, Jonathan. Yeah, you want to blow up a zoo? Uh, I would like to turn your house into a zoo, oh. if I may. <laughs> that would be the worst. I just got a new puppy today, and it's already. I feel fantastic. One, we've, we've already got one animal. That's a good foundation. That's the jumping-off point. Okay. Uh, come to Jonathan Holmes's magic zoo. We'll call it the magic zoo. Um, see exotic creatures from around the world. Like dogs. A dog. Right? Sure. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where are we going to get the other animals from? No, I'm thinking why I don't want any animals, and I, I can barely handle having... That's what I'm thinking. No. Good I'm question. Thinking, oh, don't do that, yeah? Now, Jonathan, uh-huh. you have appeared on MTV's Boy Meets World. I have. I have not. Or that's whatever right. it was called. That's right. Yes. Uh, which means you are an accomplished actor. Nope. Nope, I'm not. It doesn't matter. Either way, you're going to be all of the animals. Uh, <laughs> right? No. So yeah. here's, what, here's what goes on. Here's what goes down. Um, uh, we invite people, by appointment only, to come to Jonathan Holmes's magical zoo. Uh, they get to spend half an hour with the dog. <laughs> Okay. The real at, dog. The real dog. They can look at it. Um, that's about it. Then we say they can't they, talk. They can't. My dog loves people. No, I know. don't. I don't. I would like them to not touch the dog. I don't want to overstimulate them before we bring out the monkey. The monkey. The monkey. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to knock through one of the walls in your apartment um, and set up a little stage with a cage on top of the stage, and a curtain over the cage. Uh-huh. And in that cage is you, naked, uh-huh. right? Covered yeah. in... We're Basically, we're going to splash treacle on you. Conrad's okay. going to... Yeah, Conrad's going to help. Uh, he and I are going to douse you in a bucket of treacle and then throw barbershop hair at you and some pubes. What's treacle? Treacle, like sticky, chewy liquid. Oh, okay. Sugary. Sugary. Put it in cakes liquid. and things. Oh, like a tree sap? You can make a treacle tart. Oh, I like a treacle tart. Yeah, but instead we're going to make you a sticky, hairy chimp. <laughs> that doesn't sound good for me. Why, do, why would I want to do that? Why would you want to do that? Yeah. Because uh-huh. when we lift off the cage and you are... <laughs> dancing naked covered in hair the um, people in the audience if they pay an extra five bucks get a, um, a a small plastic pot full of tiny pebbles that they then get to whoop at the cage 
<laughs> I'm telling you, some somewhere along the line, you don't know what happened necessarily, but I did something, said something that made you feel like I've got to hurt him, I've got to stop him, I've got to... But, uh, the, 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 stop him! <laughs> yeah, you're, there's something in you that's like, I must destroy my I'd, friend Jonathan Holmes. I'd like you to be something in me. <laughs> But that will have to wait until after closing time because we've still got a lot of animals to show the people. So anyway, so I'm once covered you're in done, welts. Yeah. So once you're done, I mean, preferably you'll be dancing up and down, right? Going <laughs> like that uh, while people are throwing small pebbles at you. Um, it's not going to hurt much, um, but they will. Basically, whoever gets you to say ow will win a cuddly stuffed monkey. Uh, which hopefully you will have bought before we open the zoo, because uh, otherwise I'm going to look stupid. Don't make me look stupid, darling. Okay. Um, so then we're going to say, did you all enjoy the monkey? <laughs> and everyone will say, yes, yes, we did. We love throwing stones at it. <laughs> so well, fantastic, because now we're going to have an elephant, you idiots. I will put the curtain up on top of the cage and say, ladies and gentlemen, wait for about... Four and a half minutes, and then we'll get the elephant. Did I say elephant? Elephant in the cage, and okay. then yeah, we're gonna get uh, paint, silver spray paint. Uh, shake that up and spray it all over you, oh. um, and especially get it in your eyes so that they don't look human, because uh, that would be a dead giveaway. Uh, strap a dildo to your face, and then lift open the uh, curtain again. And then we say, ladies and gentlemen, it is an elephant. This is sounding very cost effective. It's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> and wow. we'll say, and then I'll go, because uh, I'll be dressed up like a ringmaster, obviously. And I'll sniff at the cage and I'll go, pooey, that elephant stinks of fucking shit. That's really mean. That's really mean. I mean, you've already covered me in welts and human hair that you got from barbershops. Yeah, and now I've got 24 hours until I'm in the hospital. 24 hours tops. <laughs> because covering someone in spray paint, of course, it clogs uh, your skin can't breathe, and you start to get really hot and uh, confused. <laughs> I don't. The elephants are hot. They live in the desert. They are hot. They, <laughs> they live in the Sahara Desert. And I'm blind now. I can't yeah. see ever again because <laughs> my eyes aren't silver. So that part didn't work out, but you have effectively <laughs> killed my eyes, which may cause some discoloration to them. Because the paint isn't going to stick to my eyes, you see. They're too wet. Yeah. So it's just going to be, like, clogged in my eyelids, just a, yeah. a thick Well, circuit. here's the thing. Mm. Here's the thing, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I know you're worried. I'm very worried. About yeah. being covered in spray paint. Well, I'll die. Well, why do you think I said that you stank of shit? Because then I will say, Hey, kids, do you want to hose down this disgusting fucking immigrant elephant? And the kids will say, Yes, yes, hose down the immigrant. Hose down the immigrant. And I'll say to them, kids, say immigrant elephant, because otherwise that sounds really fucking racist. And then the kids will be all like, I'm sorry, mate, I'm sorry. So, fine, I don't want to get in fucking trouble because... You know, people have gotten in trouble for that kind of thing. So, um, we'll get a hose, give them to the kids, and they'll hose down the filthy elephant. And the whole yeah, why whale. is it filthy? <laughs> why? I thought I had treacle and body hair. Why do I smell like... The like whole while. The whole yeah. while, Jonathan. The yeah. parents will be clapping like that, and they'll be shouting, You stink of shit! Why do I stink of shit? I should smell just fine. Jonathan the elephant, you stink of fucking shit. Just because you told them I do, they just think I do after that? <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, I've still got that cough. Oh, man. That's oh. Nice. Yeah. oh, I'm laughing too much. Um, <laughs> but the, it's, it's, called, it's called reverse psychology, Jonathan. Okay. If I tell an audience you stink of shit, they'll believe. They'll start to actually smell it. That's reverse psychology. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Sounds like more of a mob mentality or like emperor's new clothes sort Excuse of thing. Me. Well, That's you fun. know when they did the radio broadcast of War of the Worlds. Yes. 
30s, I think. Yeah, and they said, they presented it like an actual news broadcast, and they said, oh my god, they, the Martians are filling the place with black smoke. And the people listening who were fucking idiots uh, thought they could actually, they, they were actually choking on black smoke. They believed it that much. And that's mm. called reverse psychology. Wow. Oh, so... I wonder why I've harped so much on the, the fact that people think I smell bad. Because that's the least of my problems at this point. I'm near death. Well, this I'm is staggering on stage. Yeah, like, but you think I haven't thought about this. You right. think I haven't thought about this. The yeah. reason why I tell them you stink of fucking chunks of shit. Right? Because I'll be telling them, like, oh my god, it's like he is covered in chunks of cunting shit, kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's so that they get the hose and uh -huh. hose down the elephant. Yeah. Clean him of all that fucking smell. And they'll hose you down, which will wash away the paint. How strong you is the hose? It, it's going to be pretty high fucking pressure. I mean, if it's just a... It's a fire hose. It's a, it's, it's a riot hose, essentially. I hope you like the taste of cage. Um, I'm talking about a metal cage, not David Cage. That's next week's idea. So they'll wash the paint off. The kids okay. will hold the, the hose. They'll get blasted back and hit the wall. They'll probably go through it. Um, I would clear some of this with your landlord. Uh, Is this happening in my house? Yeah. <laughs> it's happening in your I apartment. Forgot that. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. They'll spray off they'll, they'll they'll spray off all the paint and the hair and the tree coal. At which point, you will have to hold your hands behind your back and fall on the floor, which, well, that probably won't be by choice. Yeah. Um, and while you're wriggling around and writhing on the floor and possibly, like, whimpering and in, in some sort of, I don't want to say pain, um, more like enthusiastic discomfort, <laughs> I will say, look, ladies and gentlemen, the elephant has gone away. It is a snake one now. And then everyone will applaud and say, God, it's like a fucking magic trick. First there was an elephant. and it, Oh, God, the elephant was smelly. And now it is a snake. So a naked, hairy, vomiting, blind man <laughs> who's got some silver spray paint on him, probably, is just a snake. <laughs> just a dying man. A naked, dying man. You'll be wriggling like a snake. I will be. I'll probably be having seizures or convulsions. So. No, we're going to need you to do about three shows a night. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, this is a one act. Oh, God, I apologize. I've got to apologize to the audience for my coughing. Um, let's say, I'm, I'm actually over it now, but there's still a lot of build-up in there. Sure. The laughter dislodges it. So anyway, what do we do with snakes? We club them. So, <laughs> at this point, we lift the cage up and drag you out on the floor. And the kids are just invited to, you know, punch and kick you. Yeah. Because we'll tell them this is the snake that tempts it at them. I wonder if I'll even do it at that point. Attempted, oh, because it's, yeah, it's, uh... We'll say, kids, this is the snake that tempted Adam. Yeah, Get that bastard! <laughs> They'll be more enthusiastic at that point. Uh, people love that story. Well, kids imagine love when it. kids go home to their mutties and pop pops, and they say, "Mutti and pop pop, I went to the zoo and saw the snake that tempted Adam and Eve." <laughs> I don't know where the kids from. <laughs> yeah, German and French. Well, who? What other zoo can promise that? Not only will you see a dog a chimp, and an elephant, you'll also see the serpent, Lucifer's agent. Wow. And kick the shit out of it. One show only. I mean, I will not... <laughs> I will be happy to be beaten to death at that point. In but you haven't... Death. But we haven't reached the grand finale. We haven't, but I'm dead. Or I'm dying. You will be alright. Okay. You'll be alright. You better I'll, be. Because I'm fine. Yeah. The grand finale is you getting up on your hands and knees and crawling, right? <laughs> you, you would have to crawl towards me where my, my pants are already around my ankles, Jonathan. Why? Why would your pants be around your ankles? So that I could shit on your back. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do a load of shit on your back. Is there circus music going on this whole time? Like, yes! Oh, <laughs> 
It's truly nightmarish. Let's go. Um, so I'll be doing. I mean, I'll be honest with you, Jonathan. I'm. I've been saving up this faces. Oh. I've actually got some in bags, like yeah. charcoal sacks, like what you get at gas stations. They're full of shit. I do a fresh poo on your back. I get the two big sacks. I pour them on your back. And Ugh. then kind of slap it in a big pile. And then I point at you and say, look, it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Just a shit-covered man? Which you've already accused me of being falsely accused me. <laughs> Earlier. It's a man. It's you, Jonathan. On your hands and knees with a big shell on your back. Oh... Yeah. I'll say, ladies and gentlemen, here is the original Heroes in the Half Shell, Shredder the Turtle. <laughs> and the kids, the kids are gonna, the kids are fucking freaking out at this point. There are ten-year-olds having their first erections. But there's just a man covered in an old feces. I'm not even standing straight up. I'm just it's a hero in a half shell. <laughs> I guess. I and mean, what does I... a hero in a half shall do? Ninja oh, tricks. That's true. And at that point, I hand the kids their throwing stars, and you will catch them. Yes, uh, the ninja reflexes. Mm, yeah. I mean, a hero is... Some say a hero is just someone who's had a terrible time. <laughs> you know? Like, look at these heroes. They survived all those problems. It'll be at a fire or... You know, a disease or something. They're not heroes. They just didn't die, which is cool. I, I, I respect that. But you no, know, hero is someone who who does something uh, for someone else, like gives to yeah. others. And, 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 and I'm giving the greatest gift of all: happy, cherished childhood. Some of these kids, Jonathan, yeah, are underprivileged. Oh, they come from inner cities, uh -huh. poor families. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad some, for them. Some of them are Tired? Siamese twins. Oh, so, yeah. My I mean, some bad. of them are proper freaks. Like long-nosed guys. Long-nosed guys. Um, yeah. Harlequin, ichthyosis. All kinds of fucked up shit. Long fingers. A lot of long <laughs> parts of the back. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of underfunded, underprivileged under-intelligent, if I'm to be perfectly honest, children, who are relying on you to give them a bit of joy. By you know, it, having them throw uh, ninja stars at my body and then bloody wounds, feces, blind, sick, dying. Jonathan, I think you're focusing entirely too much on the wounds and the feces and not enough on the smiles. What would you? What, what, what would you focus on? If, if, uh, I'm yeah. I'm focusing on being the ringleader. It's just oh, all about you, Jonathan Holmes. Oh, oh poor it's... little me, poor me, covered yeah, in feces it's, it's, and pain. It's, 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 every week I have to think about the death and hit with ninja stars. What about these children? And what about every... the like, we're Some of them can't in. afford iPods. I'm, I've got to be the showman of the piece. I'm the one doing all the work. Conrad's slaving away. He's the beast master. What does it's that gonna, mean? He's just got a whip or something? He has got a whip! She's and a chair! He's got a whip and a chair. And the, the big finale is when he breaks the chair over your back, sending the ship flying in all directions. And the kids laugh because, you know, what kid doesn't like poo? Do they know it's poo or do they think it's a turtle shell? At that point, they know. Once it explodes, they say, Ha ah, ha, it was actually poo. I'm a kid. I love poo. And they start splashing around in it, throwing it at each other. Some of the dimmer ones will start eating it. But 20 minutes earlier, there, I was ashamed for my poo stink that didn't even exist. And now it's just a poo party. It was, oh, it's great, yeah. Reverse psychology strikes again. Oh, I guess so, yeah. <sighs> <I> mean, <laughs> that is a funny song. Does that yeah. shoot make you feel better about the idea? I every week. I mean, for a while it was like let's just do a impossible kind of bad idea. No, first it was you know let's uh, make you feel uncomfortable by pretending you're an expert on 
a uh, repulsive subject, like um, having sex with children. And then it was, I just want to have sex with you. And then it was, let's just have terrible ideas. And now it's just, let's think about murdering you. <laughs> once a week. I don't think want about you murdered. How I will kill you in like in a long, elaborate. I don't want you murdered because you got to do this show three times a day. We're going to sell tickets like nobody's business. They're going to sell like hot cakes. I will die, though. I mean... Are you real with that attitude? With that uh, defeatist attitude? You will die, I promise you that. But if you actually think positive... So if I choose to live, I will survive it, you're saying. Yeah. Love lifts you up alone. That's a great song. Now I'm on now. I'm going to move my computer because it's melting my pelvis. Is this okay? Does it sound bad? Um, I'd be quite interested in having you melt your pelvis live on Pod Sorry, it's already weird. I'm just focusing on the positives.